Yo, what's going on guys? This is Kek back here with another Animal Jam video. And in today's video guys, we're going to be talking about how 50,000 people rated Animal Jam twice. That is right. It was rated by 50,000 people two times. Now to start on this, we are going to have to rewind back into 2018, December 2018 to be exact, where a YouTuber of the name Quackity HQ at the time uploaded a video talking about Animal Jam and just playing it with a couple of his friends. It was a very satirical video, just kind of, you know, poking fun at the game, obviously because they are outside of the target audience and we're just taking the game for face value type of thing. He asked his audience in that video if they wanted to see a raid on the game which he was known for at the time. What he would do is he would take these games like Animal Jam and live stream him playing it with his audience and typically just kind of fill up the game and that's exactly what happened with Animal Jam. He live streamed Animal Jam over on Twitch, his Twitch channel. Consistently 52,000 people were watching Animal jam and the game was being flooded by these yellow penguins here spamming duck rights on the game and usually when you go to uh, the server list on Animal jam nowadays it is pretty empty there's only a couple handful of servers that are full but on the night of this raid 20 maybe even 30 servers were completely full to the brim with this raid taking place on Animal jam now the actual consequences of you know quackity actually doing this people were getting suspended i think i heard when back this actually happened people were actually getting permanently banned from the game for actually partaking in this raid however quackity himself got a 30 day bubble chat because of his actions during this raid which is kind of funny to see and at the time it rarely ever happened to anybody so this was kind of a first time thing that we saw in animal jam even on quackity's stream and obviously you know 52,000 people that hands down has to be the largest animal jam stream that has ever taken place so obviously hats on to him on that but it doesn't stop there now animal jam classic was the main game he rated at the time it was still called animal jam now he didn't stop there as i said he actually went on steam where animal jam play wild is actually listed on and he installed it on his computer and at the time that was the only way to play animal jam play wild on your computer now if you don't know what steam is it's pretty much a kind of game store it sells games even lists free games like animal jam play wild and you can download them you play them for a certain amount of time and then you can review the game and leave a review on the game's page. Now pairing this with a, a YouTuber that is known to raid games and kind of make satirical jokes about the game, obviously this did not end well. Animal Jam Play Wild ended up being one of the worst reviewed games of all time on Steam because of Quackity's raid, with thousands of reviews being piled in by the second of people just negatively reviewing the game for the sake of doing so. Now Quackity didn't actually spend that much time time on play wild he pretty much just opened it and tested it out and then closed it and went back to the classic game and he barely touched it but even him just scraping it really just inflicted so much damage for the game's store page anyway on steam now this was the very first actual raid that i could remember that ever happened on alam jam and it was with actual real people now the other raid i'm going to be talking about are bot raids now i've covered these in the past some taking place on alam jam classic mainly some taking place on Animal Jam Play Wild. I've, as I said, made videos on it in the past. However, I believe the biggest raid capacity that I was told anyway for bot raids was up to a hundred thousand accounts. That's how many bot accounts they had apparently. That's just from me talking to the people that were behind the bot raids and had all of those 100,000 accounts banned because of these bot raids. And this was obviously way more bigger than the Quackity raid and it inflicted way more damage to Animal Jam and Alam Jam Classic compared to the Quackity Raid because the bot raids completely took down the game's server. It went under maintenance. Nobody could even log in. And if you were logged in at the time the bot raids were happening, if you logged out and tried to log back in, you wouldn't be able to get back in. But I thought I would just take this video just to kind of talk about the history of raids on Alam Jam as I think it's quite interesting. And I think it's interesting that, you know, a YouTuber like Quackity and a YouTuber of his stature actually took the time out to, you know, try Alam Jam and, you know, raid the game was all audience 
and I think it helped the game out a lot back then even though a lot of the player base was unhappy with it it did help out the game like I've gotten comments before even saying that people that came from the Quackity Raid stayed around on Arm Jam and actually played afterwards which I thought was pretty cool so I think even nowadays if it were to happen again another Alma Jam another YouTuber not Alma Jam related with a large audience tried to raid the game again I think it would end pretty cool for the game and it obviously would test the server's limits I would say but other than that I don't really see much harm if they're not hurting anybody else or like making fun of anybody but I want to hear what you guys think about it drop a comment in the comments and let me know but yeah that's gonna wrap up the video here guys make sure to subscribe with notifications on if you guys do want to be notified on future videos as well as videos just like this one make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy today's video and let me know what you thought of it in the comment section below as i said i'm excited to see what you guys think and i will catch you guys in the next one